The missing person posters in search of Mason Smith have been distributed north to Salt Lake and south to Las Vegas. The 17-year-old disappeared September 1st from St. George, and efforts to find him have so far turned up empty-handed. There was uh, some sightings uh, or a sighting made in um, uh, West Valley City uh, a week or so ago, and and uh, people have followed up on that, but that uh, nobody has found him. So again, there's there's no evidence of him anywhere. We don't have him on film anywhere in the country. He has just vanished. The Red Rock Search and Rescue out of Las Vegas has been instrumental in that search and hasn't given up. A $1,000 reward was posted on their Facebook page. Uh, we, we began the uh, offering of the reward 30 days ago, and it has resulted in nothing. The most recent poster being distributed shows what Mason might look like, unshaven with longer hair. The artist's composite was given freely to the search, which is now over 100 days. Well, obviously, um, you know, he's been gone since September. Uh, if he's out living on the street, more than likely he hasn't gotten a haircut. <laughs> he uh, he uh, uh, hasn't shaven, although he couldn't shave. He could not grow a beard before, but I imagine he's got a good growth of peach fuzz for a you know, boy being 17. So uh, we requested uh, an artist to give us an idea of what he may look like today in comparison to uh, when he left home when he was clean-shaven and clean-haircut. David Cummings is hoping the latest poster will be placed in restaurants or convenience stores. We've got the bolos behind the counter, and we got the employees trained to be looking at that bolo. Um, and if they see him, then they can make a call. While no new developments have turned up recently, Cummings says search and rescue teams haven't given up. We are conducting searches uh, weekly. They continue to comb the desert and streets where Mason might be. This boy has uh, disappeared. There is virtually no evidence of where he went. Um, there's no sign of him anywhere. Uh, so, you know, we act on people who think they've seen him here. While searchers have no reason to believe there is foul play in Mason's disappearance, they can't rule it out. They're only hoping that someone will see something and call it in. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, KCSG News.